In this video, we will be installing the Thesis BP BuddyPress child theme along with the plug-in connector, both developed by Cristarella, to integrate these two great pieces of software. So um, the plug-in connector allows us to resolve any, any slug page issues we might have uh, between the BB Press forums and the Buddy Press installation of SiteWide forums. So we'll show you what that error looks like and how the plug-in connector um, gets rid of that problem uh, once we install that. So we will go to themes, we'll click on install themes, and then we will click add new, and then upload. And I've already copied this file onto my desktop, which is where it will be. It's the 0.4.1.zip version of the Thesis BP child. That's the most recent one as of the making of this tutorial. And then we'll click Install Now. You don't need to network enable this. We can return back to the installed themes page. Now you might be surprised not to see that Thesis BP child theme, which we just installed. It is, in fact, here. It's just under the broken link. And it's broken because the parent theme is missing. Please install the thesis parent theme. You might be thinking, well, that's weird because the thesis parent theme is, in fact, installed. And this is an issue with the child theme looking for the thesis theme in the wrong area. So we're going to go back to our coding application. And you'll notice here, if you are in the WP content area under themes, and this is in your FTP program, I'm using Coda, Thesis is called thesis underscore 185. I'm just going to refresh this file so our thesis BP child theme shows up in this folder. Now thesis here is shown as thesis underscore 185. If I click inside the thesis BP child theme folder, you will notice under the style.css file, which is a file that is required for any type of child theme, if you were to open that file, and on line number seven, you will see it's looking for a template named thesis. Again, we'll leave that file open, but we'll go back to our WP content folder, look in themes, our template parent is called thesis underscore 185. WordPress is listing this as broken because it's looking for a parent that doesn't exist. So inside the style.css folder of the thesis BP child theme, we're going to change line 7. Instead of reading thesis, we're going to put an underscore 185 to make it match the name here of the parent theme, thesis underscore 185. We're going to save that and then we're going to go back to our themes in the network admin section and then we're going to refresh the page. You'll notice the broken link goes away and the thesis BP child theme now shows up where it should. Inside our actual site we will be able to see this plugin now, I'm sorry, this theme now. So we will visit the what we want to do is visit the dashboard for the actual site that we're working on and we will go down to the appearance area under themes. I'm sorry we do need to take a step back uh, because we did not network enable this we will need to uh, enable it just for the site that we're working on. So in the network admin area click on sites and then edit the site that we're working on go to the themes section and you'll see here the thesis BP child theme we will enable that for use on our site once that's enabled we can return back to the site admin area in the manage theme section we'll refresh the screen and you will notice that Cristarella's BP child theme has now been added you can click live preview and you can see what that looks like here now you'll see there's not very much styling here, it's pretty basic. So we're going to save and activate that. And it brings us back to the thesis site options because even though this is a child theme of its own, it's relying on the parent thesis theme, so it shows us thesis 1.8.5 here. Now we can 
come here and we'll just click the big ass save button which thesis puts there for us options are updated and we will check out the site and you'll see here there's not much styling going on and this is a um, option box that thesis puts in stock we're going to get rid of that because as you can see it's messing up our columns a little bit so we're going to go to the design options of thesis you might get this message that says upgrade thesis we're just going to click on this green button and that will take us back to the site options again we'll click on design options and down here in the multimedia box section we're going to open that up and we're going to take it off rotating images we're going to hit do not show box we're going to save that again we'll check out the site we're going to refresh it and you'll see that it now looks exactly like a standard installation of thesis except we're running thesis on a BuddyPress site you have your content column here you have another column with some metadata and a third column for your default widgets you'll also notice that the menu system is not doing anything because we haven't edited or made available any kind of menu system with this theme yet so all of the uh, options for forums and groups and activity have gone away. We're going to add that back and start to edit and style this theme in the next video.